How to create consistent characters for children's storybook is one question I've received a lot based on the most popular video on the channel. To answer this question, Midjourney recently released version 5.2, which provides an easy approach to creating these characters in a matter of minutes. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how to create these consistent characters as well as highlighting some cool new features that were recently added. And by the way, if you're new to the channel, my name is Zini and welcome to Zini Studio. I'll be covering several prompts that you could use to generate the consistent character. But before we do that, let's just make sure that our mid journey is set up to version 5.2. So you click on slash settings, make sure this is 5.2 and then dismiss. So the next thing would be to click on the slash button, then imagine. Then I'll be pasting a prompt that I have been testing. So I'll just paste this and say, cute girl with Afro coily hair. So the trick here is multiple poses and expressions, different angles, character sheet in the style of children's book illustration, isolated on a white background because we want to cut it out. And then I'll be using this aspect ratio. So the next thing would be to enter and wait for mid journey to generate the image. Okay, so the image is done generating as you could see how consistent these look like compared to other images we normally get from Mid Journey before now. So if you don't like any of the images, yes, you could use a reroll button and you will get another image. So I got another image and I'll be upscaling the third one. I like the third one, but there's something to note that is you could see that some parts of the character is being cut off. So Mid Journey has a new feature that will help you, you know, show all the parts of the character. But before I get into that, it's important to mention that for the prompt, the only thing that you need to change is basically the first part of the prompt and describe what the character should be while all the remaining part remains the same. So it's very easy to use. So let's just upscale the third one. Okay, so it's done upscaling. So also pay attention to the hands as well and be sure that all the parts of the characters are complete and look like a human being. After you have upscaled this, so let me explain some of the new features we have here. So we have very strong and we have very subtle. So when you choose very strong, it changes the character entirely. And if you use very subtle, then it maintains the same characteristics of the character while giving you other expressions and angles as well which is something that is very good before now in mid journey once you click on variation it changes the images entirely so which is a very good thing so i will click on both of them while the images are being worked on by mid journey i would show you how to get the missing part of this image that we have so we click on submit so while the images are being generated, so to be able to get the missing part of these images, Midjourney also has a new feature called zoom out effect. So you have, you can zoom out to X, you can zoom out 1.5, or you could use, choose a custom zoom out if you want. So I'll just do zoom out 1.5 and wait for it. So these are being generated. This is almost done and we'll wait for the zoom out to complete. Okay, so it's done generating. Let's first look at the main image that we generated. This is how it looks. And then let's look at the subtle um, variation. So looking at the subtle variation, you could see that it maintains the clothing, the hair, the shoes, giving different expression, as you can see here. So which you could choose from, which is good. But when you look at very the strong variation, you could see that it changes a things a little bit the face looks a bit different the clothes is different it changes the dress so these are the things that you need to pay attention to so for basically your children's storybook you, you could stick to the subtle variation because it maintains the characteristics while giving you different you know angles that you could choose from in terms of the character for your storybook so now let's look at the zoom out so let's go into the zoom out you remember that we had the legs being cut off, but now you could see that all the legs and all the parts of the body are showing completely. So we'll just go ahead and upscale one of them because at the same image, we just upscale the first one. Just pay attention to the hands as well to be sure that everything looks okay. The image has been upscaled 
properly so everything looks okay apart from this where the hand is missing and this hand that looks weird but obviously you could choose to use you know a different pose or a different expression if this doesn't work for you if you're finding value in this tutorial kindly hit the like button it helps youtube algorithm recommend this video to more people okay so i'm gonna show you another prompt that you could use so for this particular prompt i noticed that it gives you specifically just three to four images and it tends to be very detailed so we click on slash and put imagine okay so this time around i'm changing up the the girl so a cute girl with a long curly red hair wearing frame glasses and carrying a backpack remember you maintain every other thing this time around i didn't put in multiple poses and expressions i just used different angles character sheet so once you do this and hit enter the image I, it tends to generate tends to be very detailed but it doesn't give you a lot of expression it generates like three to four images max so let's just see so the image is done done generating as you could see just looking at this it tends to generate more detailed images if you prefer this style of images for your illustration for your children's storybook you could use the second prompt and the images are very detailed but they are not much in terms of the expression so you might need to use the the subtle and variation feature to generate more if you want more characters using this prompt so the next thing would be to prep these images i'll be showing you how to prep this image in canva but you can prep this image using canva or photo piece i would suggest if you're creating your children's storybook within canva you could use canva because uh, when you download the image as a pdf it maintains the quality of the character but when you are creating children's storybook using platforms like bookbold where you have to import individual images then i would suggest you use either photo p or photoshop to cut out the characters but let me show you how to do that using canva so first of all i've gone ahead to start upscaling the image one of the image that we generated so wait for it to finish upscaling we would upload it into canva and then we would prep the image so the image is done upscaling you could see how clear and stunning these look like these look really pretty so we'll bring it into canva so just open like a blank page on canva and bring in the image so just click on upload file and then we'll upload the last image we just downloaded okay so we'll just click on it here so what we'll do first of all is to get rid of the white background so you just click on edit and click on background remover okay so it's done so let's enlarge it a little bit okay so let's say we want to cut out these two characters that we want to use so very simple you just drag the sidebar this way and you drag the next one this way let's start with the first one then reduce this and then yeah we have our first character let's just move it up here copy the image then double click on it and you see the other characters at the background you just move this to fit into that box so that way it's, it's easier yeah and we have the second let's do one more so copy and paste okay so we have three characters here so you could see how easy it is to you know cut it out and prep it and put it or your book then you could have different scenes for your children's storybook yeah if you want me to do like an updated version of the children's storybook just let me know in the comment section below so this is the update i wanted to share today we'll be continuing our etsy series in the next video if you haven't seen the part one and part two check out the videos on your screen and the link would also be in the description box thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one